Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Arise with the Lights for Tay Games. On the last episode, we were heading through the beginnings of Cislodia on the way to try and get to the, where the lords are, except we got to this little town and kind of got involved in an altercation which ended up with Zephyr accidentally meeting his son, er, who is working for the Renans. So that's interesting. Er, he got taken away. Zephyr got taken away. So we decided to team up with Rinwell, who is actually a mage and can use arts, er, so that we could try and get Zephyr back. So now we have Rinwell at our party. And Hootle, of course. Anyway, we need to go and find er, Zephyr in the capital Cislodin. So I guess we're gonna go. Also, her idol animations are so cute. Oh, I love this game. Okay, let's go! <gasps> Hootle! Hi! <gasps> Will he just like run beside me the entire time? Huh? I can't tell if he's trying to alert me that there's an owl nearby. I think he is. <gasps> he is! Oh, Hootle, I love you. Hi there, you have an eye patch. We've got a left eye patch, a covering meant to be worn over the left eye to conceal injuries, although many like wearing it simply because it looks cool. Thank you, Owl. Looks like we've spotted one of Hootle's friends. Hootle is very good. Thank you, Hootle. Okay, so we got <laughs> we got an eye patch. I see. It, that's an eye patch. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna put anything on, but yeah. What's it gonna look like on him? You know what the- <laughs> Just cover up his eye again, we don't want to see it. <laughs> but I can't get over the glasses. <laughs> Why are they like that? Er, I actually haven't looked at anything for Rimwell. Oh, she looks really cute with glasses on. Um, I see. Oh, she's got some good outfits. And then that's the tail. She's got some, some good stuff. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. You can get it without the pen. Huh. That's interesting. Anyway, er, uh, I guess now we can go. Now that Hootle has helped us find another owl friend. It's eerily quiet. No sign of Zephyr. You think they took him away already? What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do, so we might as well. Hey, Shion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax, the coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? They got along just fine, <laughs> probably. Let's try talking to the villagers. Yes, let's. Hi, Hootle. Ugh. Oh. I love Hootle. He's great. Okay. Is that- that's a side quest already? Hi, who are you? <sighs> hey. You look real nervous, kid. What's the matter? <laughs> hey. You're not thinking of turning someone in, are you? Or are you worried you're going to be reported? <sighs> no, that's not it. Then what's wrong? <laughs> the Zoogles, they're... Mm -hmm. They're what? In the way, and... Hmm. <sighs> He's gone quiet again. They're in the way, and you're trying to go somewhere outside the village? Yeah, but people here aren't free to move around as they please. I'm not sure he's trying to do anything so dangerous. Unless he had a real good reason for it, that is. Hmm. 
he probably doesn't want to talk to us since we're complete strangers. I don't think he's a bad kid, though. I guess. In that case... We have to do something. Great! Alright, we'll take care of your Zubal problem. Huh? Huh? We are? Sure we are. We're gonna clear out the Zoogles surrounding this village. Whatever he's struggling to do, it can't exactly hurt to get rid of them for him, right? <sighs> I guess. Oh. It's okay. This is something we want to do. You don't have to tell us anything you don't want. We got a new quest! Fire, uh, fire beneath the ice? Was that what it was? Uh, give display priority to the quest you just accepted. You know what? Yeah, sure. I think my display priority was still set to the other guy, so... To see se defeat seven ice wolves in the white silver plains. Can I go back then? Or... I don't know if it'll let me. Um, it doesn't take too long to fight them, so... Huh. Alright, then I might as well just go and do that now. It's not like it takes that much effort to get rid of some white wolves. So bear with me one moment while I go and we're looking for? I think it is. Let's go fight him. That should be enough to make the area more safe to travel in. Hooray, we did it! That was really easy. I didn't think it was going to be that difficult because we've been fighting a lot of the ice wolves. Uh, okay, I can, pro I can probably quickly get those apples before I do anything else. Alright, let's go back to town. Uh, that was a, a quick diversion, but that's fine. Because you know what? Sometimes you need to just go and fight some wolves for no good reason. Oh man. This game is so good. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Okay. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Oh! Does he? Where? Is that Does that just mean there's one in the town, or was there one around here? I'm guessing that just means there's one in the town, because he's not floating around me like he was before. Uh, is that a dog? Messia 224. Now that's a weird name. Messia is basically a code. It indicates it's a small village. So it's not its actual name? Then does that mean that 224 is... Yeah. It's merely a serial number assigned to it for administrative purposes. So the Renans even get to decide what places are called out in this realm. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I did think that when it was like a name with a number, it's just a code. Hi! Hey. We're back. We took out as many Zoogles nearby as we could find. That should hopefully make it a little safer to walk around there. Huh? Till next time. I don't know what you're trying to do, kid, but I hope everything works out for you. See you. Uh, uh, wait. Hmm. I don't get it. Why would you guys do something like that when there's nothing in it for you? Because I would have felt guilty if I did nothing, only for one of those Zoogles to get you later. That's why. Huh? That's the only reason you fought those Zoogles? Even though there are snake eyes all over the place? I think making sure nobody dies is good enough reason to do just about anything, don't you? On your way here, did you happen to come across a guy who runs a general store inside a cabin? I guess. Actually, now that you mentioned it, yeah. Why? Did you need something from him? There's... someone I want to marry. Huh? Oh! I get it. You wanted to visit the shop to have him make one of those things, huh? You know what he's talking about, Rimmel? Of course. People in Cislodia used to give these special owl charms to their loved ones as a sign of how they feel. It's a really, really old tradition. I didn't think anyone else even knew about it these days. <laughs> That's right. I know it sounds weird, but with Cislodia the way it is, I thought it was really important with me, for me to make the effort. <laughs> It's not weird. I think it's really beautiful. Wait, back up a minute. If you just need to go to a general store, doesn't this village have one too? The guy who runs the cabin is a friend I grew up with. This charm is really important to me, so I want him to be the one who makes it. Of course! 
Now I understand. Sounds like all that Zugul hunting but it paid off then. Otherwise I would Otherwise I would have never had this opportunity to learn about such a special tradition here. <laughs> Thank you guys for everything you've done. I'll never forget it. Oh, well that's sweet. Oh, he's gonna get to marry the person he wants to marry with a special owl charm to bind them together. That's very sweet. I hope that they have a very long and happy marriage. Alright, let's run around and see if we can find anyone else. Hi, doggo. Still can't pet the dogs, I see. But I can walk up to it, so that's nice. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, okay. <laughs> Still can't pet the dogs, though. Chicken in a chest. That's probably really rotten. How long's it been in there? <sighs> oh! The owl must be around here somewhere. Unless it's picking up on the chicken, but I doubt that the owl is picking up on a chicken. Oh, I hear you! Where are you? Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. <gasps> in the bucket! It's in the Ooh bucket! Is there anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. What are you doing? Are those are those cat ears this time or <laughs> wolf ears? Proud yet ferocious looking wolf ears, perfect for those who like their canines to be a little more wild and untamed. <laughs> oh. Looks like we've spotted one of Hoodle's friends. We're doing good on the owl hunting. I don't know if I've missed any yet. Possibly. Err, uh, so we got some wolf ears. Um, yeah, they're just the. I think they're the, the same as. The Shiba Inu ear is just a little... Yeah, it's a different colour. Which is kind of fine, I guess. <laughs> they actually really match his hair. And then that's them on Rinwell as well. Yeah. They're cute. Alright. Uh, so there was a person over here. Uh, also, we could talk to these people. Hi. Don't approach me. I don't want to cut or come under suspicion. Well, part of go away, don't you understand? People are gonna get the wrong idea about me. Uh, okay. Yeah, people really don't like each other here, huh? Hi! Yeah. Hey, buddy. Uh, if it's not too much to ask, you think you can spare some silicon? Hmm? Uh, silicon? Rinwell, do you know what this guy's talking about? Yeah. I think he's talking about alcohol. <sighs> of course, alcohol. What else did you think I meant? Hold on. You folks aren't from around here, are ya? Feh. If I were you, I'd get the hell out of here before someone reports you. Mm -hmm. This guy sure changed his tune fast. I can't really blame him. People here grow up doubting even their own neighbors, much less strangers like us. Hey. Let me ask you something. Why do you need this silicon stuff so much anyway? What? Whether the bright eyes are running the show or not, I've still got to put food on the table somehow. Uh, and without some silicon, I'll freeze to death working out here in this cold. I guess. So it's not just the buzz you're after. You wanted to stave off the cold. Unfortunately, we don't have any silicon on us. Is there anything else we could maybe do to help? Yeah. Yeah. We won't ask for anything in return. We just want to help. Yeah. You mean that? In that case, could you grab me some ingredients to brew it? You can find what I need from Zoogles. Interesting. I didn't even realize you could use Zool parts to make booze. People sure are creative. We'll go hunt for it. Alright. We don't have what you need, but you think you can hang in there until we find it? What? Not like I've got much of a choice, but you sure you want to help? You'll be crossing paths with Zoogles, you know. Good. We can't not do anything when we know you're in need. I'd feel guilty just leaving you up a creek. I'll take fighting a couple of Zoogles over trying to plow the... I'll take finding a couple of Zoogles over trying to plow the dirt here in this sort of climate any day of the week. <sighs> we got a new quest, Hard Liquor. Using Zoogles to make drinks. That takes guts. No one would have come up with it before the occupation. That's for sure. You don't think the Snake Eyes will hold it against them, do you? If anything, the warmth might help loosen them up. Fair, I guess? Yeah, that's definitely um, an interesting choice. Four earth seeds. I don't know where to find earth seeds. Um, I don't know which Zoogles drop them. And I don't know how to check. 
<laughs> so this is fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still not really sure of how to check like quest details or like skill, not skill details, item details. Like, uh, would it be glossary? I'm sure I looked at glossary before. Okay, this is just people. That's all that stuff. And that's other. I don't have like an item book. I have an enemy book. Artifacts? I don't have any artifacts. Activity records? No. I just want to be able to have an item book so that I know what items exist in the world. Or where I can get them. You know? Like if I click on anything here it's not going to do anything. Hmm. I'll have to figure it out later. Uh, for now we'll keep looking around. See if we can find anything else important. Uh, oh that's plot. Let's not go towards plot right now. Uh, there's still more people in town that we should talk to. Uh, okay. So there's lots of people over this way. I guess this is probably the main part of town though. Hi! Another close friend got taken away. Oh, that's really sad. Hi! My fingers are falling off here. Are you done with wood chopping on your end? Yeah, now to feed the livestock. I wish I could do stuff like weaving. Indoor work puts you under more suspicion. I'd take the cold over that any day. That's fair, I guess. Although, like, being outside in this, I if something in, happened. In, in this cold would be very difficult. Hi! I don't know who you are and I don't care. Stay away. Push your luck and I'll report you. Uh, why are you standing so close to each other if you don't trust each other? Or are you talking to me? I don't know. Hi. <laughs> Always gotta listen closely to anything people say. Otherwise, I could miss out on a juicy reward. I see. I'm sorry to get a feel for what the people here are like. Oh, hello there. Do you need help? Huh? You folks look mighty suspect to me. I can tell just by looking at you that you're not from around here. Normally, I'd report you to the Bureau and that'd be that. Hmm, what to do? Hey. Look, we don't want to cause any trouble. Is there any way we can convince you to keep quiet about this? Well, the Bureau likes to reward people who purport folks. What are you willing to offer me? Uh. Excuse me? Sure. We don't have... We don't have to give you anything. But there are plenty of other ways to keep you quiet. Easy, Shion. <sighs> easy? You're the one who's easy. Alright. What do you want? Yeah! Well, now, let me see. I know. I could use some food. How about you give me some fruits and vegetables? <laughs> and I don't mean the wilted stuff that grows here. I'm talking about the fresh, wild stuff that grows outside. We'll see what we can find. Got it. Fine. It's fruits and vegetables you want, right? Yep. But you better be quick. If anyone comes sniffing around before you get back, I can keep them quiet. Alright, thawing relations. Err... Uh, let's not give display priority to it. So, three apples and three lettuce. Don't I have? Err... Uh, I know that I have at least three apples. I've picked up tons. Err... Uh, wait, where are they? Where Where are my... Hmm. Do I get some... Materials? Oh, they're materials. Yeah, I have 13 apples, but I only have two lettuce. Right, okay. Uh, well, I know whereabouts the lettuce was in the map, so... I don't see any other side quests either. I might as well go out and try and find some apples then. Not apples, lettuce. Uh, I think I knew where it grew, so... It should be pretty easy just to harvest a little bit more. Okay, uh, so where was it? That was potato, that was lettuce up there. Up there, so let's go over that way. Ah, I love having a dash option. This this is making playing this game 
even better. It's just so quick to go around to get hey, what I need. I think that might be what we're looking for. There we go. Oh, hello. You guys look angry. Okay, I guess we're fighting now. <sighs> Looks like we won. I was kind of hoping that would give me an earth seed so I knew like, what earth seeds came from. I still don't know what the earth seeds come from. I guess we'll have to find out eventually, but like, hmm. Require four earth seed. But what are earth seeds? They come from Zoogles, but which Zoogles? <laughs> like, oh wait, hold on. If I go to the the enemy info, does it tell me what they drop? It does. <gasps> oh. Okay, so it would have to be things in this area, right? So earth seeds, earth seeds. Oh, the ropers. Oh, I have to go back into the right. Okay. Um, you know what? Sure, I'm gonna go and try and find some ropers back in the the cave, the ruins. Let's go do that real quick. I don't think it should take us too long to get back there. So, I. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got confused there. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I'm glad I found where where to find where the items come from. Uh, I feel a little dumb for not figuring that out before, but you know what? Selavi, we figured it out. It's okay. We're gonna head back to the ruins. Isn't that what we were asked to find? Hmm? Oh, the lettuce. <laughs> I didn't even realize there was more lettuce there. Huh. All right, back into the ruins. The Elven Grotto. That's what it's called. Yeah, we can quickly go and find um the ropers, try and get some earth seeds. Uh, oh, I can't jump off the stairs, really? There we go. Uh, so I don't want to fight the gargoyles, I want to just get over to the, the ropers. There we go. Err. Uh, okay. So we just go this <sighs> way. There we go. So yeah, I'll probably just get back to you once I've fought enough ropers to get the earth seeds. So, back in a minute. Oh wait, hold on! Oh, oh, hold on, I forgot to put an equipment on, on Rimwell. She can have the poison charm. There we go. Right, let go! We've got the ingredients. Let's get them back to Messia. I need to be stronger. Oh, did we get four already? Oh, nice! Huh, I, I didn't think we'd actually gotten enough yet, but I guess we got four. Alright then! Well, let's start heading back then. How do I get back? Can I quick travel? Uh, can I? Oh, can I? Can I quick travel all the way back here? Can I do that? Yes. Oh, I love this game. Wait, hold on. Did I just go to the wrong? Wait, wait. I just went to the wrong place completely. We've reached our destination. This is the wrong way. I wanted to go <laughs> the other way. To the White Silver Plains, so that I could fast travel back to outside of Messiah. Messiah? No, Messia. <laughs> That's me being really dumb. <laughs> the fact that I could quick travel was very helpful. I do like that. Okay, well we've got the ingredients and we've got the stuff for that guy. So, that's good. We can give everything back. Hello, here, take your stuff. How's this? We found the food you asked for. Is this enough for you? Yeah! Hey, good work! I think I'll go ahead and take those off your hands if you don't mind. Will you promise to keep quiet about us now? <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I won't tell anyone, I swear. You can, uh, count on me. Hmm. Something smells fishy about all this. Why were you so insistent on these things coming from outside the village if you can grow them here? What? I told you, the wild stuff's a lot fresher. The soil here is practically worthless. The problem is we're forbidden from just leaving the village whenever we like. Even worse, there are all those zoogles crawling around outside. <sighs> so you made us stick our necks out for you instead. Gee, aren't you a swell guy. Enjoy all your food, I guess. Huh? What? Who said anything about eating the stuff? Don't be stupid. That's not what I'm going to do with all this. Hmm? Well, if you're not going to eat it, what do you need it for? <laughs> I plan on selling it all, obviously. Do you know how much demand there is for fresh food like this around here? Just great. Now I feel really dirty for helping this guy. <sighs> this realm's definitely got a lot of problems to work through still. 
Well, we got some rewards at least. Yay. They reacted just like we expected. Yeah. Do you think we'd end up like that if we had to treat everyone with suspicion? It's like the bitter cold has frozen the hearts of those who live here. Yeah. I guess it makes sense though. Ooh. Hmm. That's a cool animation. Um, yeah, it makes sense though. Like, if you can't trust anyone because everyone could be spying, then it's gonna be... Yeah. You know? <sighs> Hi there, you have a horse. Look at this horse. Look at its jaw. It's kind of scary. It looks a little dislocated. Hi. Just through those woods up ahead, you'll find Sisladen, the capital. The only question is whether you wind up arrested or zoogle food. Ah. Well, neither sound great, but arrested is Stay least... calm. We don't know where they took Zephyr yet. Oh, okay. I'm not allowed to go that way. Okay, fine. I guess I'll go over the other way. Yeah, I need to give the alcohol ingredients over to Alcohol Man. And then we can do plot. Hi. Here, have stuff. <laughs> We're back. This is everything you need to brew the kill the silicon, right? Yeah. It sure is. You really don't mind if I have these? We told you we just want to help. So go on, take it. We won't stop you. Okay. All right. By the way, although I've got to ask, how the hell do you brew alcohol with this stuff? Yeah. Technically, you can just bite into it as is, but no one's stupid enough to waste a bunch of good ingredients doing that. What you gotta do is pack it in snow and let it sit by a fireplace for a week. Then, once you've distilled the melted snow, pow! Silicon. But you gotta be careful. Silicon's so strong it'll start a fire if you don't handle it with care. Oh! Wow! That makes me want to try a little. Hey. Not until you're the right age, Ruwell. I know. You don't have to remind me. Like I said, though, there's no way I can work outdoors with this stuff. Without this stuff. So, thanks. It's nice to see there are still some good folks in this world. Well, this guy's nice at least. Oh, we got a recipe as well! Are they gonna talk? No? Cool. What on earth was that recipe that we just got? Lohiketo? A vegetable and salmon soup boiled in milk. Oh, that sounds kind of gross. Uh, the meat and vegetables linger together inside of a mild broth. Hmm. I don't know. It's the milk part that makes me kind of worry. Anyway, let's go and do plot, shall we? Er, or we could just avoid it and go and grab stuff from this cow. Oh, are we stealing milk? We milked the cow. I wonder what we can make with this. If you can't decide, I'll have it raw. Hey, wait, don't eat that! She will eat anything, won't she? Anyway, <laughs> let's go do plot. Hi. You're the friends of that man the bureau agents took away. Please, leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. <gasps> Answer our questions and we'll leave you in peace. Where did the agents take our friend? S Sisloden, the capital. That's what they said. I knew it. What did we ever do to deserve this? We haven't even crossed the street without looking first. Why are they Shh. after us? Come on, we're wasting time. You'll need to hurry if you want to get your friend back. Not a single person who's been taken to Sisladen has ever returned. Hey, keep quiet. You're trying to get us all killed. Out of hell with that. Go on, report me. See if I care. I thought this Sisladen was a city. Is it a prison camp? It's the realm's capital. Though when you're forbidden to move freely like we are, there isn't much difference. My parents and siblings were taken by the Snake Eyes. I haven't heard from any of them since. For all I know, they're long dead by now. Anyway, go! And kill as many snake eyes as you can for me while you're there! All right. To Sisloden it is.
Well, okay then. Err, thanks for the help, dude? You okay? Anyone would- oh my god. Anyone would sell anyone out for some reward. That's the terror of living on the breadline. The breadline. Hmm. That's a good way of putting it. Doing anything just to eat and survive. Dang, this is a game that has some dark stuff going on, but we do like it. It's a good game. Alright. Well, I guess we'll just head over to the capital then. We've got nothing else to do. Actually, now that, I I, now that I think about it, I wanted to check how many consumables I have. I only have four apple gels. Alvin keeps using them in combat because he keeps hurting himself. Uh, but we have five life balls as well. That's okay. How much gold do we have? 5,000? Ooh. I'll need to find a store at some point. So that I can buy some more items. Oh. People are really terrified of the snake eyes. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Danabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the Snake Eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Sisladen. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with him on the way. I mean, the plan was always for me to take you guys to Sisladen anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zoogles? Wild ones at that. They hunt in packs led by the biggest, meanest one. My friends and I got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us then. Should I get more items before I go then? Because that looks like at least straight... Well, it might not lead straight to the forest. I think I think that might be someone that I can buy some stuff with there. I don't want to go all the way back to the other guy. Oh, there's also a camp here. We can rest. The forest we're about to walk through is pretty dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we go further. That's what I was just thinking, Alfin. Oh, I... Okay, it just forced me to go over to camp then. <laughs> Fine. I get it, game. Rinwell, if you get injured, just let Xion know, okay? <sighs> I only have one pair of hands, you know. <sighs> you know, there are enough crates here for you to sit on one and not have to be that close to people, Xion. This is such an awkward atmosphere, my goodness. <laughs> Alright, let's just rest. Uh, oh yeah, we can make a bunch of different stuff. Um... So that's more dropped items. That was heal HP after battle. Uh, rate or rare or or rate up S. Obtained or S. Defense up S. Um. So these are all kind of item ones. Apparently, this one's Alfin's favorite meal. So I think I'm gonna try and do this one with Alfin. Why not? I came out great. Everyone's gonna be real surprised. Congrats, you did it. I hope you didn't put too many spices in it. Oh, spending time with party members. Spend time with party members to deepen your bonds while resting at camp. You never know, something nice might happen if you do. Oh, I want to talk to people. Um, only Xion is, is highlighted, so I'm guessing I can't talk to Rinwell just now. Yeah, no, I'm not allowed to. I'm clicking it, but it's not doing anything. Okay, let's chat with, Sh let's chat with Xion then. Xion, could we talk a moment? And here I was, thinking I could get some rest. Is something the matter? The matter? No, no, nothing like that. Then if it's all the same to you, I'll be going to sleep, thanks. Is chatting with me really that much of a drag? I just don't get the point, that's all. Is there some pressing reason why we have to talk right now? I don't know, I just... <laughs> I think we should all make an effort to get to know one another. What if there's an emergency? An emergency? What if one of us suddenly got sick? Then I'd cure them with my healing arts and we'd move on. That's easy for you to say. But for the person doing the asking, it may not be so easy to approach you. If they can't work up the courage to approach me, that's their problem. Unless you're suggesting I refuse to heal someone for the fun of it. I didn't say that. So what then? Quit beating around the bush and just tell me. Look, what I'm trying to say is... If we're going to be traveling together, 
It makes more sense to do it as companions, rather than being at each other's throats the whole time. I still don't get it. <sighs> but I do understand that whatever it is, it obviously must mean a lot to you. I'm not trying to make things more difficult for you just for the sake of it. So, I'll make more of an effort to talk every now and then, even when we don't have to. Happy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Then if you don't mind, I'm going to get some sleep. Have a good night. Hmm. <sighs> Didn't get it, huh? You are now closer to Xion. I think it's time we go to sleep. What does that mean? Is there a friendship mechanic? How long do you plan on just sitting around doing nothing, Alfin? Because it looks to me like you're taking your sweet time getting ready. I'm not procrastinating if that's what you're implying. Oh? Sure looks like it to me. You had me worried you'd forgotten our mission. Again. I know, I know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Hey, Alfin. I'm already over here. R right. Thanks for letting me know. I saw you talking with that Bright Eyes before Lights Out last night. Mind telling me what you two discussed? Nothing in particular. I just figured that maybe she would open up a little if I tried talking to her. What? Her? She's a Renin. I know we're working with her, but that doesn't mean we have to play nice with her. Look, we're all going to be traveling together for a while. It's only going to make things harder if we're at each other's throats. If all we do is bark orders at each other instead of working together, that's not much different than how it is for the rest of us. I think it's important that we all understand each other and work together as equals, if it's at all possible. Do we, though? <sighs> because I sure don't get the feeling she means to do the same. <sighs> as soon as Zephyr disappears, all hell breaks loose. We can't get anything done if things stay tense like this. But what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, I guess I'll just have to keep hammering away at them and see how it goes. I'm not entirely convinced that's gonna help much, but another day, another wall. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So, okay. I, I guess it's just another title? Oh, by eating and sleeping, even sleeping and eating. Even eating and sleeping together isn't enough to bring the party together. It's up to Alpha to talk to others to break down those barriers. Fair enough, I guess. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. So, what did what did they say about the friendship mechanic thing? Uh, help system. Where was it? Spending time with party members. Something nice might happen if you do. Okay. Okay. I mean, the skits are a reward in and of themselves, but like, I'm curious to see if it's gonna have any other like mechanical effects. Hi! Er, uh, I would like to buy and sell some stuff. Let's sell my commodity items first. Er, uh, and then I, I need to prioritize buying more gels. Er... Uh, oh no, I didn't- Oh. I am dumb. I am extremely dumb. Wow. I am very dumb. I sold all of my apple gels because I forgot I was on the sell menu. What else could I sell? My old weapon? I, I don't think I need my old weapon, do I? Err... Uh, because forge weapon doesn't use old weapons, does it? Yeah, I don't think I need to keep my old weapons. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell my longsword. Err. Uh, I thought I actually had more swords than that, but maybe not. Err. Uh, there's no point getting rid of any of those. I have 600 gold. I can't really do anything with 600 gold. Well, I could buy one more apple gel. 
<laughs> or I could save up for a life bottle, I guess. I've just got to buy an apple gel. Um, that should be fine. Uh, yeah, that should be okay, hopefully. I'm such a dumb. My goodness. That was really dumb of me. <laughs> okay, well, this is fine. So this is the forest teeming with Zoogles you warned us about. No sign of Zephyr, though. Which means either they had the skills to make it through safely, or were too late and the strays got to them first. Do you say every thought out loud? Just the true ones. Are we moving or what? Don't worry, Hoodle. It's okay. I can't believe that the parents are arguing while the baby is here. <laughs> Bad joke, but like... Who is a poor baby owl who has lived only in tension. I don't know how old Hool is. I can barely see enough to take two steps forward without bumping into something. Yeah. I have to be careful not to miss anything coming from off the path. This is nothing. When things get real bad around here, you can get lost without even realizing it. That makes sense. Blizzards are... Uh, big danger. Let's fight some wolves! Barely a blip on our radar. See, now we're getting less EXP for the ice wolves. It must go down the higher level you get. Which I guess makes sense, but it's still a little sad. Ah, I see this used to be a bridge. It's no longer a bridge. Oh dear. Oh, oh no, oh. <sighs> it's freezing. I can barely feel my toes. Let's find a way back up quickly then. I was gonna say, like swimming in this kind of water? Yeah, oof, that would not be fun. Oh, 300 calls! Hey, I can maybe buy another uh, apple gel. Oh my god, you're swimming with books? That's a terrible idea. Oh my god. Get, like, something to put them in so that they don't friggin'... Oh man. You have to keep books safe. Especially in this day and age. Do they have a printing press? Seems about right to me. So far, I'm not... Hmm. I keep like trying to hold Rinwell's spells while she's casting, but I don't think it's really showing me like how long you need to hold them for for them to get like to their top level of their top level of um effectiveness. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to check it out a bit more later. I have so much SP. Oh my goodness. Err uh, I should probably just get these two things so that I can finish this skill tree. Err, uh, so I'll do that. Err, uh, and then over here... Increased art casting resilience? Oh... That's useful. Increased max AG, increased mid-air damage. Lunar blast. Oh, she's got some good ones. She's got some good ones. These ones are starting to get really expensive as well. Um, hmm. Increased special ammo is also nice. I think I'm gonna get the increased art resilience for Xion. Uh, and then I'll save up my points to see what else I can get because I can't get anything else right now. Err, uh, Alphen. I might as well finish off this one. There we go. Err, uh, 787. I don't think I can finish off any other ones right now. Oh, I could get Flaming Edge Burst. Allows the Flaming Edge to be charged in exchange for greater damage dealt, but also at the cost of more HP consumed. That sounds dangerous. Uh, or increased weak point damage. Hmm. He's got a lot of stuff he could do. And I'm trying to think what I want to do. I think I'm going to get the Flaming Edge Burst. Yeah, and then we'll save up for more stuff. And then Rinwell, I've not even looked at hers. She's got so much um, 
SP already, so I can use some. Thunderblade. Oh my god, Thunderblade! Thunderblade! I love that skill. Uh, strength and magic charge. Increases the amount of damage dealt from charged arts. Also applies to arts charged from enemies. Ah, uh, that's a double edged sword. AG restore from critical hits. Increase weak point damage. Um, let's go and get Thunderblade. I want more arts. And then I'm going to get this as well. And then we'll have to save up to get some more. Alright, and then I can equip. I wonder, is, is my party this because I've got her there? Like, if I did that, then would he be? Oh, I see. That's interesting. Okay. So now he would be first in party lineup, but I'm so used to having her on the top diamond now that I'm going to keep her there. <laughs> All right. Rinwell, I need to look at your arts. Um... See, I don't have any aerial attacks for her or for Shion, I don't think. Yeah, so that's annoying. Err, uh, I might change out spread for air for uh, Thunderblade. Cause spread's fine, but it's mm, I don't think it'll be that effective since it's a water art. So I'm gonna change it out. And we'll see how that goes. All right, let's fight some more ropers. Well, looky here. Well, looky here. We got some stuff. Nice. All right, let's uh, let's head over this way. I could easily see us getting lost here while we're trying to find Zephyr. I get this is supposed to connect the capital to the villages. But why has it got to be so winding? And not only that, why are there so many zoogles walking around? I think they're used as lookouts. The Renans know how to control them. Complaining's not going to get us anywhere. Let's just get through this and be on our way. I was gonna say, you're complaining a lot, Alvin. It, it's fine. We're, it's not that long of an area. Sure, there's a lot of fights, but eh, we can deal with that. This is barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. Well, fair enough, I guess. Uh, what was I gonna say? Can we get down? Uh, probably not. Um, I love that there are so many nuanced animations! They spent so much time on this, clearly! Um, yeah, I, I actually really like the cure point system, I've decided. It's nice to be able to use normal arts without having to worry about TP. Uh, oh, is that the way we're supposed to go? Or is that somewhere else? Eh. Hi! That's what I like to hear. Well, that way, well. I really like the in-battle dialogue. I also like that it actually shows it with like subtitles. That's really handy. Err. Uh... Oh, hello. I just came out here to get the salmon, but I see that there <sighs> are people as well. Well, not people. Uh, enemies. Different thing. Oh wow, I just looked at the time. Oh god. Err, uh, I'll try and get to the end of this What's area. Doing here? Wait, did I just get a peach shell? I'll try and get to the end of, of this area. Oh, I can't open the menu <sighs> while I'm in the water. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, you can dash while you're swimming. Oh. Poodle, shake off that water. Oh. Oh, I love Poodle. Certainly not bad. No complaints here. I didn't know they could do that. Oh, they have a strike thing too. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I didn't know they had one. Onyx One Piece. I found some equipment. Cool. Who's it for? Wait. Let me take a look at it. Ah, he wants to take a look at it. I don't think it's for you. Um. Ah, I see. I think it's for for you. Okay. You can have an Onyx One Piece. Why not? Yeah, we don't have anything new for Runwell, but that makes sense because we did just get her. Um, why would they give us more equipment for a character that we just got? Okay, err. Uh, if I go this way, what's the little icon up there? Or is that a, a place to jump? Would I die if I jumped from there? What's with the, the little danger icon? 
Game, tell me, what is the danger icon? Oh, it's an item. Oh, wait, there's a person! <gasps> Hello! Uh, I can use Shion's healing. There we go. I went to look for food, only to end up getting hurt. Please don't leave me here. I'll give you this in return. Hey, we got some earth seeds, thanks. Thanks, Shion. Just doing what I can. Well, she managed to make it back, I guess, so that's nice. Can I jump from here? No, I can't. Okay. That's fair. And understandable. But still a little disappointing. Ooh, that was a big jump. Okay. So if I go this way, this must be the way we're supposed to go. Oh, hello, wolves. I'm ready for the next battle. I'm sure you are. Yeah, I'm quite liking playing as Rinwell. She's interesting to try and play as. The casting times aren't too bad either, so that's nice. I was a little worried about casting times. Hello fish, thank you. Okay. I don't think we've got too much further to go. Oh yeah, we're almost at a shop. And then we'll be out of here. My clothes are frozen. Oh, sorry. I did make her swim, didn't I? In the cold. No wonder her clothes are frozen. Hi. <laughs> Ugh, why did it have to be a zoogle like that? I can't go anything. I can't go anywhere with that thing there. What's wrong? Why are you in such a dangerous place? Me? What are you doing here? You didn't follow me all the way here, did you? If you're planning to report me, then think again. We're not going to tell on you. We're simply trying to get to Sisodon to rescue a friend of ours that got arrested. Huh? Ugh, so you're a bunch of crazies. Great. Get out of here before you get me arrested. I guess. You mentioned something about a zoogle. Is there a strong one up ahead? Yeah, a wolf zoogle. It's huge and tough, tough as nails. What's worse is light, light on its feet, too. You might be able to beat it if you can hit its weak point, but I don't even have what it takes to even scratch it. <laughs> Damn it, I thought if I followed those bureau agents, I'd make it through a forest. But I guess that whole plan's a wash now. Got it. Not necessarily. We'll look into that zoogle and see if we could see what we can do about it. For real? <laughs> you people are even crazier than I thought. If you really think that you have what it takes, then go ahead, be my guest. Don't mind if we do. I see. So I get the feeling that there is a boss up ahead. What's the matter, get cold feet? If you just hit that Zoogle's weakness, it should fall like a house of cards. Your chances of doing that are still practically zero, though. I see. Well, that's good to know. Well, there's a guy here we can buy items from. There's also a Healy Point, which is very helpful. Hi. Uh, let's let's sell commodities. Yeah. I have enough money that I could buy items if I want to. Err. Uh, so, I just want to know... Okay, so the item limit is still 15. Cool. I will buy one more apple gel. And I will also buy a life ball. There, and I'm gonna leave that at that. And then I think what I'm also gonna do is heal up real quick. Err, uh, because we could use it. All cars HP CP, woo! And then I think we're gonna stop here so that next time we can go ahead and fight whatever is up ahead. So hi, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today, including our heading into Messia 224, talking to people, doing side quests, coming through this uh, little forest here. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Next time, I guess we'll fight against this wolf Zoogle and then head off to Sisladen and it'll totally be fine and nothing bad will happen at all. There's no red flags been posted anywhere. We'll, we'll be fine. Totally. Oh dear. I I have a bad feeling. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time.